Yo, what's up, buddies? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. My name is Beaker, and we've got kind of a different video for you guys today. So there's some new stuff coming to Clash of Clans real soon in the next update, and we're going to check it out right now. We're in the developer build, and thanks to Neri, he's a Brazilian YouTuber, he gave us this footage because mine just like wasn't working for some reason. And right here you can see... It may be in Portuguese, you, you may not be able to read it, but that is a level 14 cannon, guys. Obviously, that's the first thing we're gonna look at today. Level 14 cannon coming to Clash of Clans. And my first question is, like, does this matter? Like, I'm just I'm just gonna propose that. Like, does this even matter? Like, like what does it matter? A, a level 13 cannon had so much damage. And it, it's almost ridiculous at this point, like, 14? 14 okay anyway let's look at this thing go up against troops and now we're looking at the normal level 13 cannon and what it can do against max wizards and stuff like this and i think the wizard is going to be the biggest difference so look at that you guys see on the third hit the wizard almost dies and we're talking about the level 13 cannon there so on the level 14 cannon you know what's going to happen right you know it's going to be different with that wizard it's actually going to be able to take it down a little quicker now, does that matter? I, I don't know. It, it definitely matters. Any increase in damage matters. But like I said, the old cannon was 98 damage per second. There you go, guys. Two hits on the max wizards. It's definitely going to make a difference, but really, how much of a difference? I don't know. It's not going to make a difference against big troops like that. We all know that. Uh, in the long run, sure, if you have all max cannons... You might notice a difference. We'll see. Anyway, uh, they look pretty good, guys. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. In the in the base of the cannon, you know, it definitely looks a lot different. It looks bigger, like there's more to it. Anyway, speaking of uh, bigger and possibly better, we've got another level of the Lava Hound coming. And that, I'm most excited about that right there. And the balloon. The balloon is actually getting a level 7 upgrade and i think that's probably the best one right there uh, along with the lava hound so guys this is much needed if you think about what has been used in clash of clans for like the past couple of months it's just been valkyries right everybody's just been using valkyries so we're gonna look at these new level four lava hounds and level seven balloons right now we're gonna watch them just get spammed into this base and, and see what they do man i'm pretty excited to see how this changes strategy in the game because you know you can't see a raid right now without valkyries pretty much you know i've talked about it in some videos recently all raids pretty much have valkyries it would be cool to see a lot of air strategies again so right here we've got just a spam an absolute spam raid five lava hounds going into the base first with a bunch of balloons behind i think that's 25 balloons and these are all just a little bit different now we haven't talked about the stats yet but you know they're going to be better by quite a bit i mean troops usually get uh, around a 10% increase in most stats. So, you know, just, just think around there, you know, 10% better. Even if it's less than 10%, when you've got 25 of a troop, it makes a big difference. You know, even if it's a 2% increase, if you have a bunch of them, it makes a difference overall. So right here, it looks like they crushed. I mean, <laughs> they, they just absolutely crushed this base. And now they're going through the middle. They're still moving, even without spells. They've got the uh, the warden there following them, maybe giving them a little boost there. And the heroes are going to come in from the left side here. It looks like, you know, he's not really close to a three star here, but closer than I would I would expect. <laughs> I mean, he just crushed the two star without heroes. You know, easily crushed the two star on a max base without heroes. So, I think that's pretty cool, man. I think this is going to be a really good addition to Clash. I think it would be good to see uh War have air attacks again at the high levels, you know. I don't see anybody using air attacks at Town Hall 11 anymore <laughs> like at all. Maybe you guys do, you know, but but I don't. I don't at all. I see people using like mass Valkyrie attacks. They're not like that newbie. They're kind of fun to watch. They're not like amateur attacks, but I would like to see a little bit of, of different stuff. <laughs> Even if it's just an air spam like this was. This was definitely a, a spam, but it was very fun and it looked like it worked really well. So I can't wait, guys. I can't wait to get these. I'm kind of thinking like, what am I going to do first? I think if you had to choose, the level 7 balloon is going to be the best part of this update. Or at least the things that we've looked at right now. The things we just looked at. Uh, balloons, they're crazy. They do so much damage, but you got to keep them alive. And I think that's going to be the best part of the level 7 balloon. It's going to have a little more health. If you keep a balloon alive, like just barely alive, it can get the win for you. Think about like when you get a 3 star. Usually you don't have that many balloons left. You might have two or three balloons left but they clutch the win for you 
hey, if you got a little bit more health, you, you're that much closer to getting the, the easy win or getting the win at all. So anyways, guys, that is it for today's sneak peeks. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me look at the list here. I've actually got a list. All right, guys, so I got the list right here. Looks like these are the things that were announced today. Cannon level 14, Lava Hell level four, we we really like that and balloon level seven we really like those new air troops i think that's going to be the best part now some of the other things that apply to more people we've got bowler housing space reduced to six what did did you guys see that coming because i absolutely did not see that big of a buff to the bowler coming in this update i mean that's crazy the bowler is going to be a much smaller troop now and so you're going to be able to fit a lot more in your camps therefore do more work do you know cause more damage with the bowlers that was a, definitely a good buff for the bowler now guys another interesting thing at the bottom of the list here is spring trap levels what <laughs> there's going to be spring trap levels okay so you're going to be able to upgrade your spring traps to two and three and four and i think this is a direct counter to the valkyrie you know we've talked about this before having the the valkyrie nerfed that's really not something we want but we would like a defense or a trap that can directly counter the valkyrie and having some better spring traps maybe you can spring two or even three valkyries at once with one spring trap that would be a great counter to the valkyrie so i really like that right there i think that's going to be a great addition to the game now is there anything else guys uh no looks like that's it for today so hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek even though even though it was not in in english you know it didn't matter and thank you to nary now guys i'm gonna get on the developer build for tomorrow hopefully we can get on there and just do a you know a sort of a live video where we check out some of this stuff whatever comes next so hope to see you guys tomorrow we, we should have some fun stuff i'll see you guys then peace